driving under the night sky on my way to Hamad Airport and can't help but admire the beauty of the palm frond street lights that decorate the road so elegantly. The corniche leads us to a tunnel as you can see in the horizon a nice surprise. What I admire most about this roadway is the highway street lights, where these lights are beautifully illuminated and will shift colors, but not tonight. These beautiful lights lead us to the roadway that guide us to the airport. You have to love reefing. Join me on this epic journey as I visit two amazing countries, both loaded with top-notch reefers, England, who doesn't take a back seat to anyone, and Germany, where the reefing hobby began. This adventure will give you a sneak peek at seven reef tanks that will be showcased on seven future episodes of Vargas Reef Chronicles. And stay with me till the end, as we have our own Schrodinger's Cat moment. Get ready, a reefer's audience. I am on my way to England. I am at Hamid International Airport in Doha. Check out the scenery. Amazing airport, amazing views, and I'm on my way, walking to my gate, but I will see you guys in England shortly. Rush, rush, rush. Have to get to the gate. Leaving the airport. See you later, alligator. See you in a few days, Heathrow. <laughs> now to leave and go see Dan's amazing tank. Stop number one. Coffee and reefing with Dan. of the trees. Wow. You get to, yeah. How impressive. You might need to change Hyde Park Gardens. Well, I totally did wake him up at half past seven this morning. Say hello. 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 <laughs> Come on, Dan. <laughs> it's David's bill. Hammer it. <laughs> so, Martin, there was a question I forgot to ask you. So, we're going to do this as a road trip. Uh, Vargas Reef Chronicle. You okay. ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. You had a clarion angel in that tank. Yeah, the clarion angel was. Yes. Whatever happened to that? I am a coral freak, lifetime accurist of all for services to the reef aquarium hobby presented to, Do to David Saxby, 2024. Congratulations, David. They wanted me, out of everyone here, they wanted me to help present this award. And I've been thinking all night, 
on how to do this and how to do it right. And when does a man overpower the media? When? Think about it. When does one man overpower the media? This man has virtually no presence on the internet, but is more, it, it's the hobbyist that's more known throughout the world than any other hobbyist in the world. You can go to Australia and say David Saxby, and they'll say, oh my God, yes, have you seen that tank? You can go to Asia. In China, your name has come up. Anywhere that I've ever traveled, you have beaten the media. You're the man that has been able and capable of doing those wonderful things and improving our lives with our hobby. And I am proud to be the man standing here saying, congratulations, David, you deserve it. And I'm getting goosebumps doing it. Uh, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, somebody said that they were going to say something, but I, I didn't expect this award. Well deserved, I, I, David. I, I can only say to you, if everybody has as much enjoyment as I've had being, a, being in this hobby, I think it's a wonderful hobby and it's full of beauty. And thank you very much indeed for this award. But you look really pink. But so do I, right? That's all right. That's good. We look like two pinkies. That's all right. They feel At least I've got eyes. some colour. I normally look anemic, so that's good. No. Well, you don't look anemic lately. No. I mean, when you went to Florida and you visited me, you looked oh, anemic. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You look like Casper. Yeah, well, that's Today, why, you yeah. don't look like Casper. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Heading back to the airport. Leaving England. Going to Germany. Looking forward to it. And there we go, Terminal 5, here we come. So I'm leaving the airport. What a long queue at immigration. So now we're gonna head on over, get something to eat, and then we're going to Euro Corals. Right, Ali? Right, right. Are you happy? Yeah, of course. Oh, very good. You're most welcome here. Ah, oh, thank you. So yes, we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna do uh, the Euro Coral thing, and then we're also gonna find out a little bit about Ali, or maybe a lot. Let's see how much he talks. Yes. Because I like people that talk a lot, like me. And I do talk a lot. Ah, so good. So you will be talking, and we will be learning from all the things that you're going to tell us, because I'm really interested in learning more about modern coral. I mean, modern reef. Modern reef, yes. Yes. So this is going to be interesting. Sure. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Hey, look, a convertible. 
Wow, look at the countryside here in Germany. Really cool. Super nice, a lot of greenery. I did not expect this. Check this out. And we are, look at that, 178. Let's see how, let's see how, uh-oh, 181, 182, oh, oh no. You can go as fast as you want, you know, it's, it's out of one. Welcome to the German Autobahn, look how fast we're moving. This is sick. And totally legal so as it turns out there's an accident up ahead and a quite interesting situation occurs here in Germany whenever the road gets backed up both lanes of vehicles have to pull the left lane has to pull extreme left and the right lane has to pull extreme right leaving the center open for emergency vehicles to get through I think this is genius and I think we should adapt this in the US but who will follow it I don't know but as Ali just said go in the middle and see what happens <laughs> so it's quite interesting but this is really I you know he was telling me about it and we didn't see it so I kind of like knew what he was saying but to see it firsthand and everybody is following the rule. They're all behind one another and nobody's in the center. And a vehicle did pass by, but it was an emergency vehicle. Quite interesting. And there we go, the famous Euro Gorals. As we pull up to the front. Look at that. Here we are in Eurocoros. Look at the vibrance. Look at those colors. Wow. And this divides Germany from Austria, you know, the river. The river divides it. Yeah, now we're going to Austria. So, so now we're entering Austria. So precisely Braunau, you know? Uh oh, they're coming to, ha they're coming to handcuff me. I crossed <laughs> the border. Welcome to Austria. So this is uh, the main town here. Yagu, check out this car. We're gonna pass it in a minute. Look at this. Yeah, but look at this. Just fields. Yeah, fields of everything. Of, of sunflower. And look, look, look at the cow, cow farm. This is for milk farm, you know? This big one there? Yeah. Some... Dairy. Touching yeah. The, touching the, the clouds, you know. It's very Look at that. Oh, look at that. Here we go. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> Oh my God! Wow! <laughs> Let me tell you what you see on Instagram. Wow! Can't compare. Oh my God! Wow! 
had a lot of new stones, so it's not so nice. No, that's okay. <laughs> uh, listen, in, in, in one week's time, you won't even be able to tell. But, oh my goodness. Yeah. This thing is... Have a symptom? Hmm? Oh. Ma uh, Ma do you like to be called Mara or Maria? Yes, it's we come to do two or three days. Maria comes to I... pack, pack it in your shop. Pack it you to need, me. You need, you see this that closes like this? Yes, I must buy one. You need, you need one of this. Yeah. It, it, yes. 100%. Yeah. You have to... How much is it? It's just not expensive because yeah. manual. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here we are on the Autobahn in Germany and look at the other side, it's backed up in traffic. We are on our way to Frankfurt to go visit Tomas and this is the journey that we're on and I'm really excited, I've never been to his place, Mara has never been to his place, Mara's husband has never been to his place. So we got a nice day trip here and then back home to Qatar. One of my favorite trees in the whole world, a ginkgo biloba. Look how beautiful yellow they get in the fall. And now we're gonna head over to Tomas's place. <laughs> Hi guys. Well, the journey is coming to an end. I'm on my way to Frankfurt Airport and I should be in Qatar within six, seven hours. I know I will be exhausted. Coming back to Qatar. So I notice a little moisture and just like Schrodinger's cat, I don't know what's going on in this box until I open it. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Ah, here it is, the brain coral. The brain coral bag got compromised. The acro is fine. Acro is fine. Acro is fine. Acro is fine. So it was the brain coral. But it looks okay. So we just need to get it out of there quickly. Nice travel from Germany. You have to love reefing.